Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your June 2020 tarot check. This is for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I hope you're all doing well. I thank you so much for watching the readings and subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing. I really appreciate that support. And I can, I can tell an energetic shift in my own gifts um, the more that I do this many readings for such a large number of people. So thank you for that. And it's raising our collective consciousness. Um, if you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you tap the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted. But it's basically every week. So you can just check back too if you don't like all those notifications. Let's get guidance here. Guidance please for Pisces. Guidance for Pisces. All right. Here we go for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Um, you're represented here by the Sun, and the immediate influence is judgment. Your destiny here is the Seven of Wands. In the distant past, you've got the Four of Pentacles. The more recent past, you have the Nine of Wands. You're represented here by the Queen of Pentacles. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. The more um, immediate future is the Queen of Pentacles. You're represented, the Querent here, by the Six of Wands. Um, you might be dealing with the, a, a fire sign here. The people around you are the King of Wands. Your hopes and fears is the Two of Pentacles. The outcome is the Page of Swords. And the bottom of the deck, very interesting, you have the Magician with the Eight of Cups, okay? So, um, you know, overall here, you have, certainly you've got fire in this reading. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you have Earth, a Virgo, Taurus, uh, yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, you've got Leo, I said. You have, you do have some earth and water here. But it definitely feels like a transformative time for you. Um, where you're, ta you're taking back your, you're taking back your power. You're getting more grounded. You're getting more stable. Um, and things actually, you know, right now, you've got the sun here with the judgment card. Um which is a really beautiful combination, okay? So some of you may have really gone through something and it's been a process of recovery, of healing, of, you know, learning to live a little differently than maybe you would have been planning on living. But, um, you know, the sun and judgment too are, um, they're right together in the deck. So this is, I always like, like it when things like this happen. You don't see behind the scenes, I... Before I begin the readings, I clear the cards and then I do some Las Vegas style shuffling and I don't do that on camera just because it's kind of loud, um, but I like to do it that way. So when you have consecutive cards in a, in a reading, that's unusual because the cards are shuffled very thoroughly. And then with the tarot cards, tarot cards are in a specific order. They're all like any deck if it's tarot, should have a, have court cards, minor arcana, and major arcana cards. Um, so to have these two come out, um, it's there's a relationship here, okay? You have, um, with the sun card, it's definitely a time of attaining goals. So the things that you're working on are coming to fruition. And, um, you know, the, the sun illuminates everything that's been hidden. So for some of you, you may have had some things come to light um, that were you were not in your awareness. And it's a yes card. It's a happiness card. It's a po very positive, beautiful card to have. But I feel like, you know, for the first time in a while, you may be feeling good about yourself, that you've gone through something where I feel like it was like somebody was very critical of you, um, they may not have liked, liked a decision that you made and they really went off on you. And I'm talking character assassination. I'm getting this really heavy feeling like you were just really dragged through the coals. And it's like, you know, you have a right to make decisions that other people don't like. I mean, as long as they're not, you know, done with malice, which I don't get that. Um, so with the, the judgment card here, it's definitely a time of forgiveness. It's a time to let go of the past and just get on with the future. It is accepting of past experiences and moving 
forward, okay? But there's truth and understanding in both of these. Um, and it's, it's really breaking free of a limited understanding and not being ashamed of who you are. You know, it's really being in your true self and being um, having more than just self-love, but having respect for yourself. Um, so I, I do feel like you have options coming in. Um, you've got, so for some of you, you may have ended a relationship and you've got new options coming in. Um, but you may also have something where you get a, um, an offer for a job. I think there could be something like a headhunter. As I look at this, like the bigger picture of it, you might get somebody that, that you find you on LinkedIn, um, or something like that, where they, they find you, whoops, I put those in the wrong direction. Um, they find you on LinkedIn and they want they want to put make an offer. I'm I'm just getting that for somebody, um, and you'll have a decision to make there. But your destiny here, you've got the seven of wands, and this is rise above. You know when they go low, we go high, and that's your life path. You're here to, um, you know, if there's conflict, you're here to rise above it. You are a peacekeeper. You are a sensitive sign. You're a lover by nature. Um, you're also a very intuitive psychic sign. And so being around that kind of energy is just not really good for your life map. It doesn't build you up. But you are, you know, you're here to ascend. And this is also a card of victory, okay? Sevens in the tarot are about victory and success. And with this, you rise above it and you leave it behind. So anybody who was coming for you, you're able to navigate them and not let it bring you down for too long because um, it's not where you belong. You don't belong down there. Um, so it's really, um, it really is a card about, you know, moving forward and, and moving forward with victory, with success and, and using your own intellect, your own skill to kind of see things and pivot and, and make that next Make that good next good decision, but um, it wasn't without strife, though. Okay, there was a heaviness about it. You know, when you look at the face of the guy on the card, you know he's like using that wand as a battering ram to hold these people back, and he's got a look on his face like it's tough, but he's doing it. So for some of you, you may have been closed off for a while here. You went through something that was damaging and it was painful, and it closed you off for a while, and. You weren't interested in talking. You weren't interested in connecting with other people. You weren't really, you were protecting yourself. You were in a very protective mode. And I just had cancer come into my mind, not the disease, but the sign. And it's sort of like that. So some of you may have cancer in your chart. Um, it's that tough exterior with the soft, meaty inside, right? You've kind of had to be this tough exterior to protect yourself. And... Um, it was, there was damage done. Okay. There really was, there was real damage done to you. And it's taken a while because you've got this in the more recent past, the nine of wands and this nine of wands, nines are about, um, you know, they can be about choices, but they can also be about struggle too. And you definitely had a struggle here and there was, you've got the bandage on, he's got this bandage on his head because he's got a psychic wound here. Okay. So somebody I think really got in your head. Um, and it, like I said, if they were critical of you and harsh with you, it damaged you to some degree. It got in your head for a while and was very hard to let go of it. And so for some of you, this period of recovery has really been about letting go of some, some of the mental wounds. Um, you know, it, it's also too, you know, I think you, you've got like one, one last push, you know, it's like, okay. I need to push forward. I need to recover. I need to move on. Um, you're not giving up. You're not giving up on yourself, but you definitely had to had to recover from that, and you do. You've got the Queen of Pentacles coming towards you, and you may, like I said, you may meet somebody new, and this person's very grounded. This person is, you know, they're they're humble. They're stable. Um, but they're very appreciative of their own success and the things around them. This person may be very, like, very in tune to the universe and um, seeing things around them, but attracting things, you know, and, and recognizing it. Like, they're the kind of person that 
sees a white feather and says, oh, the angels are with me. Um, you know, where they're manifesting things and they kind of have fun with it. But they've got a really caring energy. They're also financially very stable. Um, so if you've had a situation in the past with somebody where, you know, they weren't always able to pay for things and needed money and stuff like that, that is not this energy. This is definitely somebody um, who is very much at peace with money. They have a very good relationship with money, and that's how part of how they attract it. Um, they're just a really, they've got a really attractive, beautiful flow to them. So you've got the Six of Wands representing you as the Querent, and this is all about victory. You're going to be getting some attention here. Um, you've definitely got somebody who is thinks you're fine. That's what I get. They do. They think you are very good looking. They're very attracted to you, and they want a commitment for sure. Um, and it's going to have you elevated in a, in a way that you haven't been in a long time. And I hear um, it's just a breath of fresh air. It's like, you know, it's light, it's free, it's fun. It's the stuff it should be. Um, and for some of you, like I said, you've got somebody on the workforce and your career who's interested in you too that sees what you put in and they're looking at you. It seems, feels like it is online. They're looking at you and getting, um, which is, you know, right in this day and age, we have people who can find us online and know all about us. Um, and it's even... You know, you go to have an interview and they're like, oh, well, I Googled you. And it's like, oh, my God. But anyway, um, there, there's definitely attention coming your way. Um, and it certainly, I mentioned before, it could be a, a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person knows who they are and they're, they're a leader. You know, it certainly could be, I get for some of you, it could be somebody in the medical field. And from what they've just come through, they have a changed perspective on life. You know, it really has changed them. And even though they've seen some of the depths of despair of humanity, it has given them this ability to really appreciate life in a different level. And I think I had that with the Queen of Pentacles a little bit, but the more I read the cards, the more I see this. They're very confident. They're... Um, a real rock. I mean, there's somebody, I just see somebody like putting their head on someone's chest and really sinking into them. They're just a very um, confident energy, but they're not stoic necessarily. They're, um, it, it's like there's confidence, but there's still a warmth around the person. You know, it's, it's not a controlling energy at all, but it's a warm, confident kind of energy. And they know who they are. They know who they are and they know what they want. Um, your, you know, your main concern with this, you've got, there's a couple things. One is, um, just indecision and having, I think a little bit of that residual for a pentacles, um, being afraid to totally let go, being afraid to, um, really commit. And like I said, let go, but you've got this infinity symbol here in the two of pentacles and, um, there's potential here. There's great potential. Um, the two of pentacles, he is a little bit lighthearted. I mean, he's kind of like this little gesture, um, but there's waves behind him. He's been through some things. He's weathered some storms. You've weathered some storms and it's taught you a lot. It's taught you a lot about commitment, about speaking your mind, about being true to yourself. Um, and just to, I feel like there's an issue, a little bit of an issue with balance and wanting to have a balanced relationship. So you've got this outcome here with the um, Page of Swords, the Magician, and the Eight of Cups, you know, you're moving on to higher ground. You're moving on to better things. And you, you've got everything here on the table. You know, you've got every single thing that you need. You're able to bring heaven to earth. So you've got the infinity symbol twice. You've got it in the Two of Pentacles. You've got it again here with the Magician. And it's all about infinite abundance and being able to bring heaven to earth. Um, again, I mentioned... There's some kind of online stuff. The Page of Swords is often connected with that. Now, historically, no, because these cards are so old. There was no internet. But it was uh, he was considered to be kind of a spy, the way he's looking over, and he's kind of on guard with the sword held up, ready to strike. He's evaluating and taking things in. I think somebody's wanting to make a move. Um, they're wanting to make a move. They're wanting to go forward. They're taking things in, and they've got everything they need. Um, you know, and it, the, the key to it is ascending spiritually. It's moving up and wanting good things for yourself, but 
knowing that you're worth it, knowing that you are worth it to have all the love in the world. You were meant here to be in loving relationships. We're not put here to suffer. So here's an oracle card to attract more love into your life. Look to your inner strength. You're stronger than you realize. Um, that's interesting with this reading, you know, with self-worth and the blending and the marriage of those two concepts. And then we'll close things off with Abraham Hicks asking it is given. My uncontrolled thoughts are not to be feared. There is no reason to worry about your thoughts, for they are not like a loaded gun that may wreak powerful and in instantaneous destruction. For you have plenty of time, as soon as you become aware of any negative feelings, to begin to choose other less resistant thoughts and thereby choose a more desired outcome. So something about that kind of made me laugh, that analogy, because um, I think people get scared when they realize they're having negative streams of thought and they're going, oh God, cancel that thought, cancel that thought. But you attract with your, your collective of thoughts and then feelings. So even if you have a negative thought, as long as you're not in a negative feeling vibration loop for long, it won't really do much. Um, so I great reading for you. I feel like you are coming into your own. You're coming into a, a time of it's beyond recovery. It's like that next step of really coming into something great that's been a long time coming. So I love you so much, Pisces, and I'll be back again soon.